And there are some people who say America should always be the strongest country. No country should tell us what to do. We should manage the rise of China. We should manage world affairs, that it's America's responsibility and destiny. So go uh, global governance to address environmental problems, problems with poverty, problems with resources, at some point we have to share all those things. And, and that's why global governance is better than one country or two countries governing the entire world. We have a, we have a common destiny and, and uh, I believe we must uh, address it and also must uh, do something about it. I certainly believe within energy and environment we have a common destiny in the world. Uh, it's urgent that we collaborate uh, to do something about the greenhouse gases and, and, and this uh, whole aspect of it. And uh, I think that it's also urgent that we collaborate on technological development between the countries, uh, agree we have, a, we have a common destiny. And, and uh, I believe we must uh, address it and also must uh, do something about it. I mean, it means in the Asian region and in the area around China kind of creating a um, sense of shared challenges and opportunities and the idea that everyone has to look after their emerging middle class because these are the most, you know, kind of important group for economic growth and for stability. You know, the more you get into the middle class, the more stable I think your societies are going to be coming. Um, but I, I think common destiny, when you talk, again, on a security or political level, means different things across the region. There's no common framework at the moment. But that's why I think that the um, huge issues with terrorism in the Middle East, uh, the ISIS particularly group, um, does give an opportunity to kind of create more of a common framework for security cooperation, which hasn't existed very much before. And if you have a kind of idea of common destiny where you're dealing with groups which are threatening security and threatening uh, civilians, I, I think that that's kind of uh, very necessary and becoming more, more likely that we will succeed in creating, at least in that area, a sort of sense of common security destiny. Well, I think that you know, China recognizes that um, China is a huge country, but what happens in China influences countries in the region and the whole world. And that therefore we do have, a, as human beings, we have a common destiny. And we have to be, we have to continue to be aware of other people. And there are some people who say, America should always be the strongest country. No country should tell us what to do. We should manage the rise of China. We should manage world affairs, that it's America's responsibility and destiny. But what you have is China and other countries saying no. We're all here. We all should participate in solving global problems. It's not just you, as sort of Lauda or Lauda Ge, to make these decisions. So I think that the idea, I mean, I think the idea of a common destiny calls attention to the fact that we're all in this together. We're all on this planet. You know, we can't all suddenly go to Mars uh, to solve problems and to get away from it. And so that, yeah, I think that it's a good idea. Uh, so the idea of global governance is very different because we live in a very interconnected and interdependent world. And for that to succeed, we need global governance. It's more than one country participating in many different ways that, uh, that countries and, and regions and the world need to address. So uh, environmental issues, uh, economic issues, uh, economic issues are not just China's problem. It's a problem of different uh, countries as well. Uh, poverty is not just China's problem. Uh, Africa faces this problem as well. I come from India. India has that problem uh, as well. So go uh, global governance to address environmental problems, problems with poverty, problems with resources, at some point we have to share all those things. And, and that's why global governance is better than one country or two countries governing the entire world. So I think that's a very positive idea. And we see this with the AIIB Bank or even the BRICS Bank. Uh, this is a, a trans-regional way of, of governance to providing money to different places which need uh, investment in infrastructure, uh, development uh, in Asia, in Africa, and other places. So uh, the One Belt, One Road uh, uh, part uh, is a very important idea where uh, various regions get connected and develop 
together. And, and I think that's the basis of uh, the One Belt, One Road. It's a, it's a developing countries coming together and achieving a goal together.